Hi, beautiful Taurus. Welcome, darlings. How are you doing? Welcome to Crystal Communications and wishing you a beautiful, blessed and happy new year. Sweethearts, I know it has not been easy for Taurus. You've been through so much. I received so many signs and symbols in the last sort of couple of weeks of 2021. Already feels <laughs> like another lifetime ago. Um, I received all these symbols of the beautiful bull and the cow that were just it was it was this complete transformation process there was a lot of energy cleansing a lot of shadow work a beautiful butterfly i think that's the most beautiful butterfly i've ever seen oh taurus <laughs> oh my god that's literally what's going on for you there's been this immense energy cleansing and in your meditation which i did by the way at 1 11 i like I heard flying to new heights and I didn't mean to do the meditation for Taurus. It's just that I went into meditation. I heard flying. It was so magical guys. And this is going to be what's coming up for you. I, I, I was in the meditation and then I'm like, Oh, whoa, I was just called to. And then I'm like, Whoa, it's, it's one eleven on the clock. And the date today as I'm filming this is, 111 okay and today's a very 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 special portal 369 i'm about i'm uploading a video as we speak about that um it's about brand new beginnings and then as i did this meditation and i heard soaring to new heights and i opened my eyes and the hawk went and i said taurus beautiful taurus that's what i heard okay <laughs> and this beauty this this hawk gorgeous wingspan just flew and she circled she circled around and now we're seeing butterflies. So you really are soaring to new heights, sweet Taurus, this year, because if you made it through that. Oh, Spirit, I have a gift for you. Oh, things are going to be beautiful and bright. This is the real Christmas. I feel like this is going to be the real Christmas coming up for Taurus. What a gorgeous bird. See, this is what you're going to be doing. You're seeing new animals, new sights. Some of you traveling to places for the first time where you're like, what is that? I feel like that's the, like, literally, that was the most, I don't know, that was, that was a butterfly. And this bird, it reminds me of the Egyptian bird, how they're drawn in the hieroglyphics. This is what you're doing. You're going to be seeing new things, connecting to new beauty. It's a whole new world. Rising to new heights is Taurus. Seriously, it's been a transformation. and You had to go through the depths of it, Taurus, on an emotional quite possibly physical level and you will be bringing in this it's like you are the butterfly now it's from the cocoon into the new I feel like there's been a lot of people sort of um wanting your help wanting your assistance wanting to sort of lean on you it was the year of the ox so people sort of taking a leaf out of your book they would have been wise to do so um, I'm hearing, that's funny. There seems to be a little bit of frustration, like somebody's wanting, they just expect it from you. So this is for one of you, not all of you. Just connect to your heart, just do these ones, just rub your heart chakra and go, you know what? <laughs> like somebody's expecting something from you, like they just want it in their lap, right? They just expect it just like, and you're like, <clears throat> I don't know who that's for, but it is very nice to rub a heart chakra, so do that. That feels really healing for Taurus. Take a deep breath. Let's ring the bell. I feel like you're having really beautiful dreams. A bell will be really nice for you as well. Taurus. Yep. Things keep falling. Some of you are moving away from a place that it felt like home or it, it, it wasn't, it's not bringing about a sense of balance or ease or home as you wished it would have, or you're changing things around the home. It's like you're walking more so in the direction of that, you know, which it, like the path of spirit 1111. It's like there's a place you might be somewhere. And again, this is in line with the idea of either traveling, changing location or moving things around your home to make it feel more in alignment 
of the 1111 to make it feel more like those protective pillars of light to make it feel like you're walking your path as you should be it's like you're walking away from anything that doesn't feel like home this could be in relationships jobs friendship like doesn't feel like home doesn't feel like it's got my back doesn't feel like it's got the highest intentions from me i'm walking away ciao and you do you've been through so much that you don't have time for any of this other stuff like there's such a strong wall it's like you're like i'll build my own pillar like i built my own brick wall buddy like it's like <laughs> it's built <laughs> Six of Cups, I don't know if this was in reverse or not. It sort of landed like this. So it's sort of like, you might be sort of going like fond memories, not so fond memories, and that's okay. Everything does have a light and shadow and everything can make us feel good. It's like the the six or the nine, like which way are we gonna look at it? You know, we're gonna, which, which part of the energy, which reflection are we going to look at? So if you're sort of seeing both sides of the coin, that's okay. You know, we don't, like, what if it all is true? What if it all is? That's okay. Hi, Priestess. I knew we were going to see that because you're very much in sync, very much have been through this transformation, these darker energies to then be able to step into the light. And you're going to be helping people with this intuition. I really do get the sense of a lot of people turning to you. But they're, again, they're just when I say that even, there's this frequency of expectation. What is that? Who's expecting what? High Priestess, you know, decides and, you know, she she moves in flow and trusts her intuition. You know, you can't... High Priestess isn't just available to anyone and you don't become the High Priestess. You can't just walk around and be, you know, Taurus, you, you earn this. Okay, and there's going to be extra gifts in coming to you, flying to new heights because you've been to the deeper depths. And that's, that in itself is reflection. But that again is also symbolic of fertility, you know, with the pomegranate there and the star. Such healing, shining, illumination, bringing in blessings from the divine. You really are on your spiritual path. This is Taurus is rising to new heights because you're on your spiritual path. You're claiming you know who you are. You feel it in the depths of your soul. It's undeniable anymore. You know what is not bringing you a feeling of happiness, safety, love, and home. You know that's not for you, and that's okay. And also sometimes things change. Circumstances change. Sometimes we're being called to, you know, step into inner empowerment, to step into who we are now, to illuminate. But again, I just get the sense that people want from you who is this what do people want from taurus please spirit five of pentacles it's interesting it's like some does someone think you're abandoning them Ooh, like you're rising and someone someone feels abandoned they're like no, 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 don't leave me like they like what what about me you know don't leave me taurus you know knight of pentacles offer and coming I feel like somebody is concerned that you might be moving on. They might see you succeeding, see you shining. They're like, Taurus, hold up. Wait up. Don't leave me out in the cold. I've got this offer. I've got this idea. You know, it could be a job. You're like, all right, guys, it's been nice. You know, time for that new cycle. And they're like, oh, we'll, 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 we'll up your pay rise. You want to stay on board? That's what it feels like. And you're like, let me think about it. Is it in alignment with my journey? My higher vision? My true soul path, let me think about that first. You have a vision. <laughs> it's very strong. You can trust your intuition because you've got being guided from God, universe, and star system, and your inner knowing, your ancestors. There is such strong support around you, Taurus. Trust your vision, trust your goals, trust what you see as possible, and rise to new heights. Take on things that you haven't done before. Like, people want to come with you on the journey. Mm. Mm. Empress. You see? They're like, what's Taurus going on over there? The Empress Kaya looks pretty good, hey? What do you got growing on over there, Taurus? 
Or how do you do that? Or you look, it's like, it's like delicious, exciting, nurturing, fertility and growing new things, new business, new ideas, new love, new life, new Taurus. Rise into new heights. This is also symbolic of protection and being really nurtured, like a period of time for you to just love thy sweet self and love the process of growing and nurturing. <laughs> okay. Spirit, what is this message trying to tell me? Don't forget to laugh, Taurus. Don't forget to laugh. <laughs> Like your life that you're creating is right now. You have this beautiful vision and you know that you're like going in this, there, that direction. But now it's pretty good too, I'm hearing Taurus. Like enjoy the now. Dance, Taurus. This is the message from Spirit. It's like, it's like that. You know, and you can trust your intuition by taking a moment and going, does that feel in alignment? Like you imagine those 1111 11 cards, you know, at the, at the beginning, does it make me feel like I'm illuminated by this light, you know, to help make with those decisions? There's this gorgeous flow of reciprocity with the universe, this energy that's flowing through Taurus, that's allowing you to move in a very swift manner. It sort of feels like this sort of like pushing things uphill in the last cycle. And now all of a sudden you're aligned, you're grounded, your heart is full, and you're moving in the direction of your destiny, of your love, of your highest dreams and creations, and really surpassing your own expectations. It's like you're sort of stepped out of sight of your own limits. Very beautiful. Mm, that's exciting. Okay, sweethearts, let's draw some oracle cards here for you and see what's going on. The Empress, Taurus. Taurus the Empress. Your goal is within reach. Touch the grail, Taurus. Just go for it. It's right there. You know it too. It's like, you're like, you mean this grail? <gasps> okay. It's like right there. Wow. Everything you do is sacred. Everything. There's such magic and beauty surrounding you, Taurus. Like it's um, amazing, amazingly beautiful. Okay. Let's see. We've got some more messages here from the angels. I want to draw you a spirit animal as well. New love and divine guidance. Oh, there you go. I mean, who wouldn't be in love with the Empress energy or the Emperor, the star? I mean, yeah. And you're following the star. You're following the guidance of your heart. This could be a new love as a person or new love as an exciting venture or a new love for life itself. A new connection to the divine, a new love for self. It's like you love yourself. You're gonna be filling up your cup. You're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be doing that. You're gonna be. You're doing a lot of things different, but it's not for the point of it. And you're not like going, "Oh, this is different." You're literally just doing it, and it feels like you've done it forever. <laughs> Message from these loves. I haven't told anyone how I feel about you. I'm seeing someone, someone's like, who me? Like that almost like me. You look even more beautiful than I remember. We're gonna do love messages too, guys, to see who this person is. My heart longs for you. Yeah, like someone someone is concerned. They yeah, and they're very attracted to you. I feel like there's like this new love and someone concerned that they're gonna be left out in the cold and they're like, oh, I will always love you. Okay. Let's see. Spirit animal, the Taurus, the Empress and the Star. Beautiful Taurus. And take time for music. Take time for music and meditation, Taurus. You're taking time for you. You're doing the things that Taurus should be doing instead of pushing sticks up the hill. You know what I mean, Taurus? It's like you've had to do that. You had to push the collective through. Your energy did. It did. It had to push the collective through. And now you're taking some time to you. And it's glorious. 
And I know you love to be of assistance, but it's taking time to use actually what is bringing even more, you know, opportunity for collective. The phone just went out, sorry guys. I hope that didn't cut out. Anyway, it's new spirit and Taurus. The camel. Drink some water. I need to read from the book. Let's see. The camel. My humps, my humps. Maybe that's what you're singing. Resourceful, independent, and knows oneself. The camel can handle it absolutely anything as it carries a wealth of nourishment within. That's it. You're the empress. You're nourishing yourself. This wondrous creature is self-reliant and handles challenge with ease. I just feel like you have so many skills and so much wisdom, right? That you're just like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Even in the face of excess heat, judgment or anger, the camel searches inside for the cool elixir of water to calm the situation. So, you know, if there's going to be, because we're in the year of the six, which can be all about love and manifestation and fertility, which that's why I love these cards even more so for you, right? But it's like the opposite of that. The shadow side of the six can be like, you know, a little too much of that or a little too much of the earthy. It could, it could get fiery, like anger and such. And so you, you recognize this and you have those skills to be able to just tap into that inner peace and those cool waters. It's like you clock it, you go, aha. Uh -huh. And you know, Angie's transform the situation. The camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance, fire and water, and being responsible for one's own, own reactions. The camel is a wonderful traveler, yes, and is especially fond of trips to faraway lands, yes. When in balance, calm, content with a sparkle in your eye. So that's what you're aiming for, to be calm, content with a little sparkle in your eye. When out of balance, dehydrated and lacks vitality. So you've got to stock up on the water this year because when we are going through, you know, well, I got so many message, messages for how important water is. Um, and blessing your water as well does wonders. Um, but when we're going through transformation as you've been through, it's like this water is really going to hydrate your soul and to really bring in the flow of this manifestation that's occurring. And it says to bring into balance a pilgrimage. So if you find yourself ever feeling dehydrated and lacking vitality, drink some water and do a road trip <laughs> or go for a walk or book a flight to a faraway land and dream astral travel as well. You know, our traveling, a lot of our traveling happens in dream space and in astral traveling as well. There's many people, you know, let's say you could have traveled the entire universe and not even stepped in a material plane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aircraft. So, and it's just a mu as much an amazing experience. Um, but, you know, I do, I, I feel like this is happening in this earthly realm where you are traveling, but you're also um, experiencing, you know, all forms of travel, meditation, uh, things that are nourishing for your soul as well. Okay, darlings, let's draw, let's see who this love is. And it just got super warm in here. Let me turn the, um... okay, the heat. <laughs> Let's turn the heat down as we get into romance. The superstar Empress Taurus. Taurus. Tell us more about this love. Please, Taurus. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. We bless you. We thank you. Thank you for guiding us. Bless. Wow. Oh. Okay. Definitely someone from the past is seeing things in a new light. I'm hearing that they're seeing their part in the either the breakup or where they went wrong. They're seeing it. For the first time, they are seeing it. Unfortunately, Taurus, I feel like you've moved on to manifesting new things. To be completely honest, it's like you had this opportunity, like, oh, 
like my heart chakra is like it's hurting even saying this in this energy like it's it's like that there was this sort of stuck energy i feel like there was a lot of patience i feel like someone has finally had this epiphany this understanding and they're wanting to sort of bring you guys together bring the elements together they're seeing how maybe this could work that just feels so naff for the energy that you're in like hi empress i can sort of see how this could work you're like it's what no. you know what i'm saying taurus like you've moved so far out of that energy that it's like unfortunately this energy they may feel like they're left in the cold because they put themselves out in the cold truly they did okay and you're the magician now you're showing up in full power right across the board. You're manifesting, you're soaring to new heights. To get the magician in the year of the six Taurus, this is powerful. You can be anyone you want. See how my voice changes? It's like, now I'm from England. Now I'm doing this. It's like, I want to travel this or I'm going to be this person. I'm going to be this now. I'm going to study this and it will happen. It will manifest. The energy is so rich and powerful for you that you're stepping into your dreams. Okay, and there was this waiting or you having to push this job uphill or, you know, help somebody see the vision and they just, it's like, yeah, okay, great. They found some vision of how it can work together. Well, <laughs> like, I don't, the magician's like, oh, well done. Okay, king of wands, passion. Okay, this is a, a protective, powerful, fiery love, and I feel like this is what you're manifesting. And anything less is, you know, it's not thrown out. It's not like the King of Wands is ignoring. It's just, it's just the King of Wands has his true heart's desire and he protects it. It's serious stuff. Passion and love is serious stuff. It can also be very lighthearted and it can be fun. It can be this and that, but, it, but it's also very sacred. And I feel like you're in this place where you've recognized just this flow that you have with the universe, the importance of your spiritual path and how much power, love and light you have within and love to share with the world and passion to share with the world that it's unstoppable. That really the other things, there's not, there's not really the place to deal with them anymore. They sort of deal with themselves. They sort of leave themselves out in the cold. And it's showing up so powerfully. And it's much deserved. And it's beautiful. And so healing, you know, for all. Queen of Pentacles, abundance with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. There is going to be so many opportunities for union for you. But it's like spirit is also giving you the chance to sort of have your hand, be more hands on in your creation is what I'm hearing to make your wise choices and decisions. And as the Queen of Pentacles, understanding what nurtures you, what makes you feel fulfilled, what makes you feel, you know, and this is, this is your element, right? What makes you feel abundant? And with the Queen of Swords, it's cutting out that which doesn't. There's a strong sense of someone wanting to hold on to you though, Taurus. <laughs> I almost feel like somebody is like, they see you as theirs. Like I'm seeing like the five, like I'm even seeing like a, like the star. They're like, like you're my star. <laughs> like it's like that. Nine of swords on top of the deck. Someone very much in their head about you. Very like a bonded situation. And I think that it's, it's going to be, come to your decision about stepping into your power even more so. I say this with the Queen of Swords that sometimes she can seem a little harsh, but she really does make her decisions in the name of love. This is about higher wisdom 
and clear communication for the betterment of all. You know, so many wars are started through miscommunication. So many, everything, everything is miscommunication. Like that's literally, I got a Bachelor of Communications because I, you know, I saw my parents fighting when I was growing up and I was like, they're just miscommunicating. And I saw my peers fighting. I was like a peer mediator at school because I was like, yeah, but that person didn't mean that. It's like, I could ever always see everyone's point of view and they didn't see each other. So I'm like, yeah, but you know, let's mediate this because, and so I feel like you're being very clear in your expectations, what's important to you, because you see how if you're not, it could, you know, take the Queen of Pentacles off balance. And you've seen that side, you've come from that understanding and you're not going back there because you've got this gorgeous, passionate, fiery energy. It's just all going forward. It's connected to the vine. It's all this path forward that if anything comes in and you sort of get this feeling, it's like you're just Queen of Swords. It's just cut that coin. It's just like, no. You know, it's like, it's like clearly saying no to anything that's not love. And maybe that's what you're doing is learning to say no and say it super clearly where it needs to be said. And I don't mean this, you know, in a mean way. And it's just that you're saying no to some things that were not benefiting you. And it's, I know that that can be taken in a way where that seems selfish and like you're using, no, I mean this in a way of like, does that serve my highest health and well-being? No, cut it out. Okay, overindulging in toxic things. Say no. And you say it clearly like the Queen of Swords. You say no to things that are not healthy for your well-being because what's not healthy for your well-being is ultimately not healthy for anyone. And you're King of Chalices now. We've got two kings, two queens. It's divine love and divine union. You're learning to say no so that you can receive love, true love, true nourishment, whether this be in relationships or be in work or jobs, patterns, behaviors, okay? It's for this brand new journey, this brand new year, you're stepping into it with such power. I know I'm doing this now because it's like, I'm always like Taurus, this is amazing. Sun card, top of the deck. You're walking straight to your happiness, Taurus. And you got a lot of opportunity and a lot of possibility too with the seven of chalices there. It's like, it's so sunny out here. I don't, I don't want this or I want to go here. Maybe I want to do this. Dream it all. Do it all. Manifest it all, Taurus. The power is yours. This is an exciting, brand new beginning for you, Taurus. Take that leap of faith if you've been thinking, if you should, would or could I do it with the full card. I feel you'll be very pleased, especially with all this backing of love and power and wisdom. These all came out in the upright. There weren't any reverse kings or queens here. Everyone was standing. And that's the pillars of light. We literally saw the 1111. Oh my gosh, Taurus, Taurus, we came from this. Okay, this is amazing. We, where, which one came out first? Um, this one, I can't remember. This one, this one? Anyway, remember the four of wands that was in reverse is the first card coming from that place of knowing what made you unbalanced. And then here's your 11-11. There's your, your key players, right? It's like these are elements of you. Fully rounded, 1111, king, queen, king, queen, divine union, pillars of light, strength, protection. That's your castle. Your home is your castle. Your body vessel is your, your castle. And that's why you can take this journey. It's like you don't need, all of these elements are within you. All of this wisdom is within you. All of these abilities, these skills, this abundance, this love, it's within you. You are your castle. You are your home and you are protected. And that's why you're taking this new journey. That's how you're able to just manifest with such strength. I love you, Taurus. I hope this reading helped in some way. Blessings, love and light, sweetheart. Let's get you um, one more quick card here for Taurus. If you'd like a private reading, you can find me in the crystal store. True love. I feel like, I feel like, yeah. 
You are worthy on the top, okay? I feel like you can feel that love that's coming through for you. And this manifests in all areas of life. First, it starts with just giving yourself that love, yeah? Treating yourself with purification. Drinking more water. Here's another sign. If it rains one day, go and dance in it, my loves. And purify our thoughts, our intentions, our actions, our bodies. Clear eyes, clearer heart. Can't go wrong. Ancient healer, the shaman. Ancient healing wisdom coming through for you. Yeah. Stepping into your powers. It's like anything you touch turns to gold. Okay. With all this royal energy. Every royal. Ancient healing wisdom. Blessings, love and light. Taurus, I'm about to sneeze. Good luck coming in for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you guys so much. Soaring to new heights, the red carpet will be laid out for Taurus. Blessings, love and light.